right off the bat, I have to tell you something I am so, 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 so excited about. I met one of my subscribers, one of you, just the other day, and how much fun was that? I always love it when I get a chance to meet one of you. I was in Walmart with Jim, we were grocery shopping, and I'm pushing the buggy, and all of a sudden, someone walked up behind me and said, I watch you. And I turned around, and it was Dee Nash. Dee, hey Dee, hey. And we just had the nicest little chat. We took a picture. And I asked Dee if it would be okay if I talked about her and if uh, I shared our picture together. So uh, she said that she was saw me and she, she, she lives here. And she had always wondered if maybe she would run into me. Uh, but she saw me and then she questioned whether or not to even speak to me, to come up to me. And I can't believe that. Listen, if you see me, I don't care where we are, I don't care what I look like. I may not take a picture with you, yes I would, but um, please, please come up and say hi to me. Um, we have the nicest chat. Uh, it was so nice meeting Dee, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, we're going to get together again real soon. I wanted to tell you a couple of things. Uh, first of all, what I'm wearing. These I found at Ross. Uh, probably a year ago, I was in Ross one day, and I happened to see these, and I bought two of them. They're Moo Moo's. And they are wonderful. I have worn them out. And my daughter was here uh, a few weeks ago for a week visiting, and I had one on while she was here. And she said, Mom, where did you get that? And my daughter's, what, 45? She said, where did you get that? And I told her, and she said, I love it. And I said, do you want one? And she said, yes. So we didn't have time to go to Ross, but uh, after she left, I went and ran by Ross to see if they had any. And they had one. So I bought it for her to send her. Uh, I went back in last week to just to see if they had any more because I had just, mine were almost threadbare. I've worn them so much and they've been washed and dried so much that I actually uh, wanted more. And when I went in, they had four. And I, I bought all four. They were $9.99 a piece. And I wear this all the time. Now, I don't wear it out when we go out. Uh, but I wear them around the house. I wear them to walk biscuit. Uh, I wear them when we're just sitting out on the porch. I wear them when uh, maybe Late in the afternoon, I want to go in and go ahead and wash my face and do my nighttime routine or take a bath or a shower or wash my hair. I put them on. I've been known to sleep in them. Uh, sometimes, always when we have company now, I'll put one on. I can just put my underwear on under it and that's it. They're cool. They're flowy. They're loose. They don't touch you. I, I love them. I, I absolutely love them. So, Ross doesn't always have them, but I'll, let me tell you where they are. They're uh, in, obviously in the clothing section, but they are on the rack, the row there, that has the largest size of clothing. And it's a one size, and when I tell you, I'm going to be showing you a little video here of me uh, on the porch wearing this. And you can see how much room it has in it. I can't imagine anybody not being able to wear this. Uh, I'm five two and a half, five three, and uh, it almost comes to the floor on me. But if it were ankle length, it would be fine too. Uh, and of course, it could be hemmed if it's way too long, if it's dragging the floor. But I absolutely love it. I highly, highly recommend them. 
and my 45 year old daughter wanted one. <laughs> that's just a that's just a hoot, but uh, just to wear around the house, so comfortable. And yet, if someone knocks at your door, you're covered. You know, so good deal. Something else that uh, today is the first day I'm wearing it, and I will review it, but I'm wearing a new foundation that uh, I have been reading about and decided I wanted to try, and I think I really like it. I'm not ready to review it, so uh, I'll tell you all about it. I'll tell you what it is when I'm ready to review it, but first impressions are that I really do like the way my skin looks with it um, and it's full coverage. So today you see that we're going to try to apply these new Ardell Magnetic Liner and Lash. And I know you've probably seen these here on YouTube. Maybe you've seen them out in the stores. I'm just starting to see these here. I found these the other day at Sally's and that was the only place I had seen them then. Since then I saw them at Walmart and I saw them at Ulta. So uh, I thought before I bought another pair or another style I would try these. I got the Demi Wispies is what they're called and I will, I'm going to hold these real still and I will try to zoom in so that you can see them against that white background to see. They're small. They're thicker, but they're shorter and they're smaller. So I think this was the best option for me. Uh, you may find some that you like better. So let's see if we can get, I haven't opened them. I have, this, is a, this is a first impression. And I'm looking around me for something. I've got my thumbnail here. Okay, I need to get this box opened. All right, here we go. I've seen a couple of people demo them. This is what they look like. And for application, I'm reading off of the box. It says, Gently peel off magnetic lashes and remove magnetic gel liner residue from the band magnets, taking care not to detach magnets from the band. Store in tray for reuse. To remove magnetic gel liner, gently wipe, gently wipe an oil-based makeup remover over closed eyelids until clean. And let's see what they say for quick tips quick tips. Apply on clean and dry lids. For best results, use primer prior to application. I already have my eyeliner on, and my eyeshadow on, and mascara on. So we'll see. If you need to reposition magnetic lashes once the magnetic gel has dried, slowly peel off lashes and gently remove any magnetic gel liner residue from band slash magnets, taking care not to detach magnets from the lash band. Then reapply fresh coats of magnetic gel liner before reattaching magnetic lashes. Okay. I am also wearing some new eyeliner today. And I'm wearing the NYX, and it is in the color Burnt Sienna. And I'm telling you, I really like it. So, we have our gel liner. We have a little bitty liner brush. And then we have the lashes. Okay. So, let's get those off. Unlike regular lashes, these are not glued all the way across. There's just like a little dollop of glue on each end. When I turn the lash and look at it, I can see the little magnet spaced all the way across. 
and the dot, all four of those blue dots did stay on the packaging, so I don't see any glue. Now, what I do want to do is put this on my eye to make sure it's going to fit. And it will. I'm supposing that you can trim these. And I know already this is too long for me. So I am going to get some scissors and I'll be back. Okay, a little pair of manicure scissors that are bent. I'm going to, all right, this is not gonna work. There's a magnet on each end and then there are two others. So we'll just try it like it is and see if it works. But I suspect they're gonna to be too long. And I may have to cut them some way and piece them. Apply two coats of magnetic gel liner along the upper lash line. Place magnetic lashes on magnetic gel liner while liner is still semi-wet and gently press down to secure. Well, you know what? I need some tweezers. Just in case. Okay. Get the hair out of my eyes. All right. I'm just going to Tip that down. See, I got it right there. Another coat. Doesn't take much. I'm getting it just as close to the line, to my eyelash as I can. semi-dry, I think it said. I'm going to close this because I don't want to want to have the gel liner dry out. So we're going to Oh my gosh. How easy was that? What do you think? Oh my goodness. If I could shorten them just a tiny bit. Okay. Let's do the other one. I can feel it, but nothing, not any different than uh, others. So we'll I'm pulling my eye top right here. One thing that I'm hoping is because I have, I didn't read the instructions before I did this or before I put my makeup on, but it said to use a clean eyelid without liner or just primer, I think is what it said.
unlike the glue, you don't have all that residue and you don't have This eye is smaller than this eye. Do you have a one eye that's smaller? I'm gonna see if I can. Okay. Now, I love this. Oh my gosh. Uh, I can feel them. But I noticed they have the ones, the demis that are just, uh, they only cover about three quarters of the outer corner of your eye. And I think I'm going to try those. I, I wish these were maybe, I'm wiping off my uh, little brush. I, I just wish these were like one section shorter. Oh goodness. Okay. I'm putting everything back in the little case and this is, I will keep them in here. I'll probably throw the box away, but I will keep them in here. Oh, my light. This is that light that if I touch, it goes off. So, hmm. I'm saying if you're an eyelash wearer, or even if you're not and you've always wanted to try them, try these. If they stay on, th this is if they stay on, I'll wear these most days because I think it's just amazing uh, what they do to my eyes. But I'm going to try to, hmm, let me move my mirror. Biscuit has a new ball he's chasing. But I would not put mascara on them because honestly you can't see they're black and I wear black mascara but you I mean that I can feel them more so than I can feel regular false eyelashes, but I'm already used to it. I love these. I love them. I love them. I love them. I think I'm going to like the little Demi's even better. I know other brands are making them. But I think they're I think they just open up my eyes. Uh, the new eyeliner, did I mention I'm wearing a new eyeliner? I brought it out just in case I needed it. And it is the NYX Professional Makeup Eyeliner in Burnt Sienna. And, okay. I'm loving these. I'm also wearing a new concealer. Have you heard about the new Benefit concealer? Uh, I've seen it a couple of places on YouTube. I was in Ulta and I thought I would go ahead and try it. It was $22. Uh, it's, the, it's by Benefit. It's the new Boeing Cakeless Concealer. It looks like a pencil with the eraser on top. And that's what I have under my eyes. It dries down. It's a, maybe a little bit thicker 
So far, so good. It says creaseless. Cakeless? No, it says cakeless. I also dug into one of my new, it's not new, but it's, when I bought that Mally Cream Shadow that I use so much and like so much, it came with three, uh, three different colors. And this one is called Warrior. I mean, I have, except for getting something and digging it out, I'm done with that. But this one is Warrior and it's very similar. It's not quite as dark. So I think I'm gonna darken up this outer corner here. I brought a brush and I'm not rubbing, but I'm patting. Oh my gosh. I love them. I love them. Uh, two thumbs up. Know that I love you. I want you to go out and be kind. But first of all, be kind to yourself. Love yourself.